This is how to set up a notebook in OneNote. So first you go to File, and by the way there's a couple ways to do this. Then click on New, click on My Computer, you're going to store this on your computer for now. Give it a name, I'm going to call this one um, Example. And it should be going into your name on your hard drive, which is root faculty people and your name, documents, OneNote notebooks, and click create notebook. So you'll see at this point, I'm going to scroll down, that my example notebook is at the very bottom. OneNote will usually put new things at the bottom, and it comes with a new section. Now instead of sections, I like to have section groups. So Instead of having a section, I'm going to right click and delete that. Say yes. So example is now empty, so there's nothing under it. I'm going to right click on example and choose new section group. So my new section group might be my chapter. So let's say, for example, that I have chapter one. I typed it in, I hit enter. So you can type it up here or you can type the name right here. You can always right click and choose rename here or you can double click or right click. Actually I guess you have to do it here. Alright so now that I have my section group I'm going to create my sections within my section group. I can right click on chapter 1 and choose new section or I can come up here and click to create a section which is how I usually do it. So let's say that my first section is 1.1 whatever topic that is. So this is topic 1 in chapter 1 so I'll call it 1.1 and then maybe these are my notes I click on new page over here on the right hand side and maybe the, these are, my, this is my homework or practice, I call mine practice instead of homework now since I don't always give practice at night. Click on new page, maybe you have some resources or websites or whatever and this is how you can set up your notebook. So then when you want to create chapter 2 or actually let me do another topic. So for topic 1.2, so that's chapter 1, section 2, I just click here on this little asterisk and that gives me a blank section and I'm going to type in my section name, hit enter and, and again start filling in whatever it is I want to have for that particular section. If for some reason you don't see that little a button to click on like when you start filling up the top with sections that may go away you can always right click on one of your section tabs and choose new section and that does the same thing. So let's look over at my example workbook over here on the left. The green symbol that was just moving around was letting me know that this was um, syncing. So Brainology is not syncing but example was syncing. So now I'm going to create chapter 2. So I'm going to right click on example, choose new section group. And this happens a lot of times. The section group will go underneath a different section group instead of underneath uh, the workbook that you're in. So I'm just going to click on the new section group and drag it and drop it on example and that'll move it out a layer. So now section, my new section group and chapter 1 are at the same level. So now I'm going to right click and choose rename call this chapter 2 and I'm going to continue with the same process come up here type 2.1 so again this is topic 1 and chapter 2 and then I come over here and create whatever pages I'd like so to give you a quick overview of what mine looks like and you don't have to do yours like mine here's my transitional math text I have it organized by trimester and under each trimester I have my different units and then these are I can click on the plus and it expands everything or click on the name of the unit and when I click on the name of the unit that unit shows up over on the right hand side and I can click between the sections you'll have to click on this down arrow to see all your sections go back and forth that kind of thing um, 
and you can click on the minus to condense it. Now for me I don't use numbers because I change around when I teach units from time to time so I don't want mine organized by numbers however for say an algebra class that would make a lot of sense to use numbers so everything is in the order that you want or if you don't change your units around at all. Um, and they will be listed alphabetically not by when you want them to be listed unless you do use numbers. You can always rename them and change the numbers if you decide to go that way and you need to change the order around. So that's completely up to you. To give you an example of what one of my units may look like, let's look at my exponents unit. So if you click on, on exponents, I have all my different sections or topics. And then I also have some additional items. So for me, I have introduction to exponents, positive exponents. I'm going to drag activities down to the bottom because I don't want those at the top. So after positive, I have negative exponents, order of operations, quiz review. I always like to include the quiz review, scientific notation, perfect squares. One of the things I've started adding are teacher materials. And this will have all the um, smart notes in here so that when I'm sharing this like with Michael or Shannon, they have a copy of all the notes right here as well as their own individual notes that they may tweak. And um, some other things I have our practice tests, websites, games, cumulative reviews, any projects or activities may also be included. And then I also have a wiki that has activities and so I have a link if there's any activities for that particular unit I'll have a link or for that section um, out to that particular activity to help the kids keep up with it.